All right, we're heading into winter, and I thought I would do a quick review of this Duraflame Infrared Quartz Heater. Um, I purchased it last year, and I used it through several of the winter months as well as into the spring, uh, and it met all of my needs um, without a problem. Um, while I was shopping around and doing my research and reading reviews and so forth, uh, this heater, as well as many other space heaters, uh, received mixed reviews. So I thought I would kind of go over what the heater will actually do in comparison to maybe what the packaging indicates it'll do. Uh, and then we'll go into uh, you know why some of those reviews might might not be that great. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the heater itself. Okay, so when we were shopping around for a heater, we wanted something that wouldn't stick out in our home like a sore thumb. So we went for one of these furniture style uh, heaters, or that's what we were shopping for. Um, Duraflame, along with a lot of other manufacturers, are coming out with this style uh, heater because it uh, you know blends in with the home uh, aesthetics. A little bit better. They have wall mounted ones that look like a fake fireplace and so forth. This did come with a remote. It's not a huge deal for us, um, but uh, for some people I can see that as an advantage. I'll go ahead and crank it up here and you can see now that the heater is on. Uh, it takes a little bit to warm up and the, the fan uh, is not super strong or very loud. Okay. So one thing that they're at claiming is that it helps filter the air, um, and that claim is partially true, but uh, I wouldn't set your expectations very high on that, and that is because this is the filter that they're talking about, okay, and you can see it has, it has captured some dust, um, which is better than nothing, but I think it's more or less uh, to protect the actual heating mechanism, which is basically light bulbs. Um, you know, prevent dog hair and larger particle matter from getting into the, uh, the heater itself, okay? Okay, now that the heater is basically warming up, you know, one thing that we did like about it is um, it's, it's very safe. I can hold my hand right here, and while it is hot and it is burning, I wouldn't want to keep it there for long, it's not like it's going to set anything on fire. So I can touch that uh, without issue and um, you know it's warm extremely warm even hot to the touch but not scolding hot okay so we wanted that we have animals obviously you want something that you're not gonna have to worry about something brushing up against it and catching on fire so this heater is you know I would say safe we've left it on many many nights and haven't had any really concerns about it um, the overall appeal the, the finish itself and Duraflame has a lot of different stains and wood types also to choose from. Lighter grains, darker grains, and so forth. Um, different sort of um, style as well, you know. Um, but this is what we went with. It, it works really well. I think we paid $119.99 on Amazon for this. And they range anywhere from $100 to $150. I mean, so do some research on different options. Uh, All right, so we're here on the uh, Duraflame website. You can see that uh, they have a lot of different products listed. We're going to click on this one here, Visit Duraflame Twin Star site. Uh, I'm assuming that has something to do with the actual manufacturer of the product. We're going to go to the Power Heat Series, which is the uh, series of heater we're talking about. You can see that it's actually quite a nice site. You can kind of zoom in and get a close-up of all the different models. Um, you could actually take the model number and search for a specific model number if you found one that you thought maybe uh, fit in your home uh, better than another. Uh, and I've even seen different model numbers out there that that don't that are not listed here, and I'm thinking that maybe has something to do with where they're being sold. So the big box stores maybe have a different model number, say, than ones being sold on Amazon. Um, and you can see here they're they're still making the claim of warms a room uh, up to a thousand square feet. If we scroll down here, we can click on Download Intertech Report. Okay. And here they're actually adding the uh, word supplemental. Uh, they were using the word warm, and now we're talking supplemental heat, which I do believe is more accurate. Um, what they've done, and I'll just sort of um, summarize for you. You can check it out yourself. Um, they basically made a uh, 32 by 32 foot room, 8 feet tall, um, out of foam. And then they placed the heater in the center of the room and ran it for 24 hours. And they were able to raise the temperature in the room 8.3 degrees and sustain it for 24 hours. And that's how they're able to make that claim. Uh, of course, this doesn't take into consideration other environmental factors such as wind and um, 
other things that may contribute to um, the heat distribution, such as not very many people have a room uh, with this wide open dimension. Uh, most people wouldn't be running the heater in the center of the room, for example, because you wouldn't have power in the center of your of a 32 by 32 foot room. Um, so. I guess my, my, my point is on this is um, that while um, you know it may be a great heater, even a primary heater for warmer warmer climates, maybe something to take the chill off in the fall or the spring like we use it for, or something that maybe helps with um, uh, supplemental heat like we're using with our radiant heat if we don't want uh, large fluctuation, temperature fluctuations, it works great. Uh, but if you're setting out to purchase this thing thinking you're going to heat uh, you know, a room even, uh, if it's 20 degrees outside and you want to have it uh, uh, sustain at 70 degrees, I think you're going to be disappointed. So anyways, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, if you if you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button right there for me, please. And give me that thumbs up if this has helped you in any way, shape, or form. If you have questions, please leave them right down below. Um, I always do my best to try to answer those. And again, I'm heading into my second winter with this heater, so I will have a pretty good idea of of um, what I believe it can do. Um, so thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and uh, have fun.